You're the greatest, buddy. Hold on, let me get your signature. Eagle and poker, eagle broke. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Poker Stars Rivals. This week, two PCA contestants will needle each other to the bone. It's Maurice Hawkins versus Sham Srinivasan. Let's start with round one, where the hawk flies a little too close to the sun. And a 10 on the turn. Check. Action goes check, check. Yeah, these two, their aggression comes from their mouths. Board pairs on the river. Srinivasan bets 110,000. Check call, check, check. Oh boy, here we go. He played this hand real good, dude. Really, really good. Only thing I can hope for is I can hope that you have queens or kings or jacks. I can beat all three of those hands. Can't beat any aces. Sounds like a man is about to call. There's the call. Hawkins has an ace. Srinivasan has a boat. Oh my god. Damn, believe me, huh? Okay. When I bet the flop. Yeah, just vote. It's really gonna stick in Maurice's craw that Sham caught it on the turn. I don't think you can fold. <laughs> trying to give me chips. <laughs> it's true. Time for round two. A hand which is very much the calm before the storm. And been three bet by Maurice, who has aces. Oh boy, here we go. I'm turned up. Still a few players to act before the action's back on Sham. Uva Ritter folds. Maya Roka's out. Jim Colopy has a decision with tens in the big blind. He is stuck in the middle right now. With all the bebop and Scott and Hawkins does, I don't know how you take a three bet from him seriously. Well, with the benefit of hold card information, I'm going to say good fold. Sweet fold, dude. Now the decision's on Sham. Pretty standard fold, but it is against his arch nemesis. I'll show two. Two. It's two good, one plus one. You, you, you went pausing there for a moment like he was about to jump off that ledge. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing with you, I'm messing with you, I'm messing with you. All right. Apologies, I'm sorry. No, I was kind of serious, but... <laughs> I'm not really sure what's happening. Okay, here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. Round three, where things will no doubt escalate quickly. And he decides to limp with pocket fours. Not standard. Queen 10 suited for Sham Srinivasan. He raises to 15,000. Folded back around to Maurice. And calling is pretty much the only thing that makes sense here. He does call. The flop sees Sham pair his queen. Huh? Maurice leads for 6,000. And for literally two chips. I don't get it. Sham raises. 10 on top. Don't get that either. Maurice calls. 10 card is the seven of spades. Sham's still a big favorite. Maurice bets another 6,000. You guys, what is this? Are we getting this right? And Sham raises again to 16,000. This is more button pushing than a Street Fighter 2 tournament. Once again, Maurice calls. A very curiously played hand. Five on the river doesn't change anything, and it goes check, check. Yep, yep. Turn them over. Now let's hear what geniuses you both are. Sham adds 63K to his stack. And seems happy about it. Have you ever seen a man get that much value out of second pair with no kicker? Is this where you like do a backdoor comment? Because you want to be the coolest guy at the table? Nah. You already snicker out there every damn hand I play. I don't say anything because I care less, but. Don't take anything personally. I, that's personal when you win a pot and you say, You ever seen somebody get value out of a second pair in third place? You're the greatest, buddy. Hold on, let me get your signature. All right, gentlemen, <laughs> let's go ahead and play ourselves some poker. I can yeah, cut. That's what we need to do and stop commentating like you. Hey, they got a mic back there somewhere. I've got one. Give him the mic, Richard. He can commentate himself. He's the greatest. 
How about you just make your money and keep your mouth shut? Let's not drag Richard into this. Get your ego involved. Why don't you get that? Because you already got a big ego. <laughs> this is great. Queen Jack against King Jack. Maurice is raised. I hope they're not done. Ego and poker, ego Christ. broke. Yeah, I can say whatever I want, trust me. I play poker every day. Ego and poker, ego broke. There's a three bet from Sham. And you really don't need a three bet a hand that plays as well post flop. Definitely some chatterbox play at work here. How much more is it? Does it matter? You're calling. Let's find out how much value you're gonna get out of your, your hand now, buddy. Oh dear. Smart ass comment. <laughs> Check, buddy. Go ahead. Manipulate the situation. Top pair for Maurice. This is just, this is yes. Oh, I checked. Check. I did the check thing. Unfortunately for Sham, a C-bet here is what he's supposed to do. He does continue for 31,000. Call him. Wow. Can we get a count, please? Yep. Eagle and poker, eagle broke. Actually, not a bad shove. You better learn how to play poker without ego, buddy. You has to go broke eventually. Win, lose, or draw. Be a man, play a man's game. He doesn't speak for all of us, ladies. I hope I win. And I promise you, I'm gonna be a man. I won't say nothing. I just drag the pot like a champ, because I'm a born champ. Sham faults. Eagle and poker, eagle broke. We get it. <clears throat> See how much value I got out of 10 high? <laughs> I'm going to go take a long walk off the short pier. <laughs> Hopefully the sharks don't get me, though. It's a good time. It's a blast. Hey, I hope you get back, man. Whoever you're trying to get back by, I hope you get back by them. Whoever you're trying to impress, I hope they back you now. They're secretly texting each other nice things. They just want to seem hard. Well, that was it for tonight, folks. Hope you enjoyed this Rivals battle. Don't forget, let us know who you think won this match in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.